A new update on the $1,000 one-time check for Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, and Medicare Beneficiaries. I have all the details for you in this video. Let's get into it right now. But if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below the video. Information continues to change very, very rapidly right now. I'm watching everything closely and I'm breaking it all down into these short videos, which I I deliver a couple times each and every day so that you can get the latest details hot off the wire during this very busy time right now. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe down below. It's totally free and I'll continue to be here for you each and every day to help you out in any way that I possibly can as that is my commitment to you and this community. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into the update and discuss what is going on. All right, so I do want to talk through all the details as far as the latest information on this $1,000 one-time check for millions of beneficiaries, about 63 million beneficiaries right now under the umbrella of Social Security, Retirement, SSDI, Survivors, and Medicare benefits. So like I said, about 63 million beneficiaries would be eligible for this. So let's backtrack a few months here just really quickly and discuss where this is coming from and then the latest updates on this thing. All right, so several months ago in the Build Back Better agenda, the bill that was actually originally introduced, there was a $1,000 one-time prepaid debit card or check, however they would have determined to send this thing out for about 63 million beneficiaries to help you out with some of your expenses going forward. Do you remember this one? We've talked about it um, a few months ago. Well, there are some new details on this thing right now and I wanna let you know where we currently stand with this. So this was actually originally introduced by senior Senate Democrats. They came out and they said, hey, we gotta send out a $1,000 prepaid card or voucher or whatever they were going to do. They never really specified how they were going to do this. All they essentially said was, we have $1,000 here and we wanna send it out to 63 million people. Well, at the time it was sounding like pretty cool. Well, here's the deal. Over the last several months here, we do know that Congress has been working on a variety of different provisions out of the stimulus package, otherwise known as the Build Back Better agenda. However, over the last few months here, the Build Back Better agenda has pretty much disappeared, right? It pretty much just evaporated and it's kind of gone. However, they have been taking all of those provisions from the Build Back Better agenda and trying to piece them together like a clay sculpture and try to figure out something to do with it, right? They're trying to make a stick figure out of all of these provisions and it's not necessarily sticking together all that well. So as of recently, just a short time ago, there were multiple, uh, actually, uh, what was it, 98 of the um, members out of the Progressive Caucus actually presented 55 different executive orders to the president to get him to pass these through with executive order versus actually pushing him through with a reconciliation bill or through the legislative process because they figured, hey, we can't really get anything done anyway. Let's just do it the easy way and have the president slap his signature on everything and then we can just be done with it rather than moving it through the regular legislative process. But anyway... So we'll see what actually gets done there through executive order. But the moral of the story is that uh, the Build Back Better agenda or any type of new stimulus package has been a kind of a hard time getting together. However, they've also indicated very clearly that they do want to get another reconciliation bill done before the midterm election. So maybe it'll be pushed back in there. But here are the updates that I want to give you on this $1,000. So this $1,000 prepaid card or voucher, again, not really sure how they were going to distribute it to the people, was basically in place of the Medicare expansion that was not going to be part of the Build Back Better agenda. So remember, back in the day, you know, what was it? I don't know, five, six months ago, something like that. For quite a few months there, Bernie Sanders and a few other lawmakers were coming forward trying to get the... Medicare expansion into the Build Back Better agenda, right? So the uh, hearing, dental, and vision coverages into the Build Back Better agenda. Well, as a result of that, they dropped uh, dental coverage and now they have in their hearing coverage, but um, they also are kind of wrestling around with the idea of actually uh, including vision coverage as well. So what they did is when they dropped dental coverage is they basically said, okay, everyone, we're dropping dental, but here you go. Here's a $1,000 card. This will get you all the dental procedures you need to get everything done. Yeah, right. A thousand dollars at the dental office is gonna get you, I don't even know what, a cleaning, maybe an exam, maybe a couple x-rays, maybe a, 
Um, maybe a filling or two, not a crown. It's not going to get you a crown. It's not going to get you much. And it might get you a free toothbrush at the end. That's about it, right? <laughs> a free toothbrush. Oh, yeah, sorry. And a little pack, a pa uh, package of floss, right? That lasts you about two days because it's only like two feet worth of floss. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we all been there, right? Uh, but anyway, so basically they say, here's $1,000 we're going to give you to help you with all of your dental needs going forward since dental has been dropped from Medicare expansion. However, as a result of that, that was supposed to be in the House version of the Build Back Better agenda. It wasn't in there, but that's okay because we thought, oh, it's just in the House version, but rather this was actually originally anticipated by senior Senate Democrats. So since that came out of the Senate, we just figured, well, it'll be added back in there. Here's the problem. There's no such thing anymore as a Build Back Better agenda, and just the simple fact of them trying to get this bill back together is not really working. So the whole point is, uh, when it comes to this $1,000 voucher or prepaid card or whatever they wanted to do there, it looks like, just like so many other great proposals that they've had out there, I'm going to say this one probably evaporated into the wind, just like so many other proposals out there as well. Now. Don't get me wrong, this was not a stimulus check. This was not going to be same as cash. It was going to be basically a voucher card that allowed you to go to the dentist and basically get some dental procedures done or whatever you needed and basically had $1,000 to spend at the dental office. That's essentially what this was going to be for. So it was not a stimulus check. Um, it still would have been nice. I know there's a lot of people here in the community. I've seen your comments down below saying, I need something like this. That'd be great. Um, I need some dental work. It's been years since I've been to the dentist. Yeah, right? The dentist is very expensive. It's um, If you don't have insurance, it makes it hard to go sometimes when you, got, when you go for just a simple procedure and it's like hundreds of dollars or even a thousand or more dollars. It makes it tough for a lot of people. Um, so anyway, when it comes to this $1,000 voucher card, I've been looking around on this thing, looking for later um, updates on this, and here's what it comes down to. Considering the disconnection between Congress right now and the lack of really getting anything done, um, anything of substance anyway, it looks like as of right now, these cards are probably off the table as of right now. Now again, as I did mention, Congress does want to get another reconciliation bill done before the midterm election. So maybe they have a comeback and maybe they make it back into the bill, but this is something that we were kind of looking forward to because it did look pretty promising. Even the president was out coming, uh, coming out and talking about these cards as well. So for a while there, it did look pretty promising. It did look like something that probably had a pretty good possibility of happening. But unfortunately, just like the other thousand proposals that we've seen out there hit the table and sounded really good, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like one of these that just kind of disappeared and may be coming back, and it may not be. We'll, we'll have to see on that what they actually add into this reconciliation bill going forward. But anyway, I wanted to give you a quick update on this, let you know what I'm finding out there with this $1,000 card. I know that some of you were looking forward to it, and I have seen some comments on previous videos, some of you saying, keep it, I don't care, I don't want that. I'm not going to use it. I just want the cash. Can we trade it in for cash? Can we sell it? Can we fill up our cars with gas with it? <laughs> Good ideas, but uh, I, I don't think that was really the purpose behind the card, and I, I don't really think that's what they were um, going to be allowing with that money. But anyway, uh, would have been a cool thing, right? But anyway, as I do get more information on this, if we get any more information on this, of course, I'll be right back here for you, breaking it all down to help you out in any way that I can. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, so I can continue to to keep you updated each and every day with all of these changes during this very busy time. So again, feel free to share this video <clears throat> with your friends, family, social media. Go back and check out any of the other 2,300 videos here on the channel. Please enjoy your day. Stay safe out there. And please leave your comments and questions down below. I'll do whatever I possibly can to answer them, um, as I always do. Or if I need to make a dedicated video, of course, I can always do that for you as well. Thanks again. I really do appreciate you. Enjoy your day. And I'll catch you again later in the next video. Stay safe.